Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And another great article from Fierce Wireless. I will leave it in the description down below. And it looks like AT&T could potentially run into some red tape. Not that this has, hasn't been an issue and hasn't been brought up. But AT&T says Alarm Industry is trying to slam the brakes on its 3G shutdown. Now, how could this potentially transpire what can the alarm industry do according to AT&T nothing so I, I I looked into it a couple of weeks back I was on the phone talking to some people so apparently <clears throat> the FCC has no jurisdiction any anymore well not the jurisdiction but they can't intervene with this up up and coming shutdown apparently from what I what I was told from what I was reading they can't shut it down I believe AT&T says the same in this article as well. They can't shut this down. They can't stop it. Now, could the alarm industry potentially file a some type of lawsuit? <clears throat> uh, that's a possibility. That could potentially happen. But do you want to spend money on those legal, legal fees? So the alarm industry themselves are hoping that over the next several days, AT&T may release a statement saying that they're going to prolong this shutdown. But I think they just have to shut it down. They have to do it. It's it's older technology. It's decades old. You you have to refarm that spectrum and put it to use for today's technology. I truly believe in that. So if AT&T does shut down the network, that part of, of the network, then I don't have a problem with it because it's going to give people a better experience on today's devices. It's up to the alarm industry to update and upgrade their systems to meet the needs of you know the LTE networks and the 5G networks moving forward. Now I've I've seen recently that Lexus, in terms of the vehicles, they've released models in 2018 car models that still supported 3G. So that's again that's on that's on Lexus. They'll have to upgrade that. That's not AT&T's fault. AT&T is trying to shut down the 3G. They're trying to use that refarm that spectrum and move it to today's technology to make the networks better and more efficient let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below let me know if you think this is going to be a problem for at&t the shutdown is still set for the 22nd of this month as a matter of fact some areas that have high lte availability have the spectrum already refarmed and some of the sites have been shut down so again make sure you like share subscribe to the channel Follow the social media outlets for more updates and interactions. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. I will see you in the next one. Peace.